Has he read the section of the Cabinet manual that states, quote, incumbent ministers should ensure that any requests they make for advice or information from their officials is for the purposes of their portfolio responsibilities and not for party political purposes, end quote. And if so, was the advice and information Simon Bridges sought from NZTA used in National's Northland Bridges policy? The right honourable Mr. Prime Speaker, um, my understanding is that information was asked for. I might need to check that, and that's appropriate. Supplementary. Sup order. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Why is he allowing a minister whose portfolio conflicts with the alleged actions of his own brother to remain as minister? And why doesn't he follow the high standard I set in temporarily standing down Carmel Cepoloni in similar circumstances? Order. Order. I'm going to allow the Prime Minister, it's a very marginal call, I'm going to allow the Prime Minister to deal with it. In, right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, firstly because uh, I took advice on the day that I became aware of it, uh, the advice was very clear uh, that there had been no conflict up to that point and any potential conflict could be managed. I think all members of this House appreciate that uh, there are potential conflicts as an electoral MP uh, right through to a Cabinet Minister and they need to be managed. In relation to the actions that he took uh, with Carmel Cipollone, I personally think he made the wrong call. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Does he stand by his statement made after Mike Sabin resigned that Mr Sabin could have been a minister and what does that say about the standards he sets for ministerial office? Well, uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker. Uh, yes, uh, I do stand by that statement. In the time that uh, Mike Sabin was part of our caucus, I actually found him to be uh, a very thoughtful, um, hard-working member of parliament. He had good policy ideas, and uh, I think he could have made a very, very good minister. 